Stand back for your own safety. Voices in my head are screaming, metaphorically at me. I'm cutting me not crazy, I don't think I'm all that crazy. But you see the crisis getting to me, just a bit too much for me. I'm feeling it all over, and I wish it would be ever if I turn into a grinning idiot. You feel the cold in my cup. Guess how many times I've narrated this battle? Answer, three. Alright, so, uh, I uploaded this and it was like two seconds over 11 minutes, so YouTube said, you can't have this. So, I said, fuck you, YouTube. Now I have to go be your bitch and do it again. I did it again, uh, I accidentally unplugged my computer, and as it was rendering, it died. So then, uh, I forgot to save it, and, uh, now I'm doing it again. So, basically... I go into wish cache to sub to stall him out. Um, I try to toxic that thing, but it, you know he switches back into Torkoal. Uh, I go for the dive. Here's what I'm doing. I'm trying to stall out the the sleep turns because I'd rather have this guy poisoned in, than asleep. Um, the only reason I put him to sleep in the first place is to make sure he couldn't get rocks up. So I protect. Obviously, I don't think he's gonna attack, but he wakes up and he gets rocks. And now it's just like, uh, whatever. I just have to deal with it. I go for the Toxic, and he goes into Gardevoir, who traces my anticipation. So I talk to Gardevoir, which is great, because it's a wall, and, you know, you Toxic walls, because that's what you do. And, uh, he's going to set up Wish. And, um, I think I'm just going to dive here on the switch and I do uh, so he gets the wish but I'm just gonna dive and you know just take all that damage back um, obviously I want to toxic it so I'm gonna try and do that uh, as he gets the lava plume off on that turn but he switches out back into guard of war knowing I'm gonna toxic and there it is so now I'm just like well shoot what are you going to do? Uh, I think he misclicks here, goes for the Thunderbolt. I go for the dive. Uh, get some turns of Toxic on it. Uh, he goes into Petal Shark, and I know it's going to take a decent chunk, uh, just because his defenses are so shit. It's so bad. Um, so now I want to Toxic it just to get some damage on it consistently, and hopefully that will help me out in the long run. Uh, he breaks my sub as I get the Toxic up. And I know he's just going to Earthquake again, uh, not overplaying too too quickly. Uh, I know I could take it well, but I don't want to. So I, can, I go into Yen Mama. And Yen Mama um, takes so much damage from rocks. I forgot to give it an odd number, so it's going to die on re-entry, so I can't switch out anyways. I go for the Protect to stall that turn out, because I know he's got Aqua Jet. So I let him kill me, because I can't switch back in anyways. Um... And I don't want to take any damage for anything else. Uh, he gets the life orb, and then Toxic's going to take him out. So uh, that thing's gone, which is great. He sends into a pincer as I go into Charizard. Um, Charizard's going to take rocks damage like nobody's business. That's disgusting. Uh, so I switch out into Wish Cash because I know he's just going to Stone Edge because he's probably scarfed. So that's exactly what he does. Uh, I feel good about that play. I'm going to sub now because I know he's going to switch. No, I switch out. Oh, well, that's right. I switch back out into Charizard, hoping for something to uh, let me roost so I can get my da my HP back up so I can start sweeping. Uh, so now I'm going to roost here, hoping he goes for the uh, th Thunderbolt. And uh, I roost, and I get back half minute damage. Uh, he psychics and takes me out. That makes me sad. Uh, Dragon Dance Charizard and Yu Yu is just unbelievable. Uh, try it out if you haven't before. You'll sweep things, I guarantee it. I go into this guy now, and I set up the sunny day. Uh, he goes for the Will-O-Wisp, which isn't going to bug me at all. Um, so now I'm just going to go for the Solar Beam, because it's Stab Attack, and uh, it should do quite a bit to Gardevoir. And it's like teetering around the, like, the halfway light mark. Uh, I do Solar Beam, get a crit. Don't know about it, so we're not going to talk about it. Um, sunlight is strong. I'm feeling good. He brings in Pinsir. I'm like, fuck you, Pinsir. I have HP fire. He thought he'd be faster because he was Scarf, but, uh, he probably just barely doesn't outspeed me. Um, so HP fire takes him out. Feeling good about this guy. Now he's going to bring in Torkoal, and uh, I don't have anything left to do, really. 
Um, so I just explode. Uh, solar beam probably would have been the better option, but exploding's fun, so I, that's what I do. Brings him down to half. Um, sunlight's still up, which is bad. I go into Pinter because I know I'm going to be faster because I'm scarfed. I think Earthquake can take it out, so that's what I go for. Guess what, everybody? Guess what? Earthquake doesn't take it out, and guess what he does? Lava plumes and kills me. Damn. So Pinchasura goes down. Uh, probably, I guarantee that was a useless crit. Um, Torkoal is just massive. I go into Pepe equals Raper. And um, I go for Poison Eyes because I know I'm faster, and that will take that out. Feeling good. So now he brings in Charizard. Uh, I I know Sucker Punch isn't going to do that much. Um, all that stuff. I know he's going to do a lot, a lot, a lot of damage. Good for Focus Blast, and I explode. So I take him and me out. Um, I think he probably forgot about the, the poison typing to resist the fire, so making it, or I mean, the fighting to make it neutral. If he gone for Fire Blast, he probably would have swept. Um, or maybe he just wanted to sweep with uh, Charizard so he didn't have to switch. I don't know. Anyways, I Toxic, and he's going to go for the Parahax. He gets it. So now this is like the stalwart at the very end. Um... This is like nerve wracking. I got a toxic skill all this thing. This is going to be ridiculous. It wants to para flinch the shit out of me. So, what I need to do is I really need a sub up because I'm so bulky. I don't think he can break a sub. So, I go right for the sub. I get my sub up, and um, it's going to do some toxic damage, which is great. I get some leftovers. I go for protect because I need more. I get more leftovers. As does he, but he's taking toxic damage, so I'm feeling good. Now he's going to go for Bite. Bite doesn't break my sub, which is great. And it was a crit, too. But I'm paralyzed and I can't move, so that's fine. I go, but, but, now I can Protect again. So I go right for Protect. Um, I haven't battled too many Dunsparces in my career. Uh, I didn't know that they had CAD. I didn't even know they got, learned Roost. I was like, fine, you got Roost, okay. Um... So now I know what I need to do is I need to do some damage to it. But I know he's going to break my sub here, so I'm going to sub up again. So he, he bought a slams, breaks it, I sub up again. Um, I could protect here. I think that's... No, I think I just dive here. Because uh, he's going to roost, obviously. So I'm going to dive... Um, just so I, if I do any type of damage to it, it's really just going to pick it off with Toxic. So I go down there, and Toxic does quite a bit of damage, takes him down in the red. He's going to roost, and I know I've got the game one here, because if Toxic's taking him down in the red, I just need to do a little bit of damage. I take him down to around 50%, and Toxic uh, builds up and is going to take him out. So good game, Mr. Peak Pone. Um... Rate, comment, subscribe, everybody. Abrasam.com. I'll see you guys all next time.